What's up, everyone? It's your boy Hobo back here with another. What? What's going on? I heard that you were talking shit and you didn't think that I would hear it. Oh, am I supposed to be scared? What? Square up then. 1v1 me, mate. Sit your ass down. Oh, and if I don't? Anyway, here's the build. Alright, all jokes aside, let's go ahead and dive into the build itself. So to begin with, there are three themes I focus on with this build. 1v1 fire, resiliency and endurance, and evasion. These are all elements I saw of how Orpheus was portrayed in the movie. So let's go ahead and break down how I chose to replicate that in game. So for the 1v1 fire focus, I do have Inferno maxed out with all element boost skills and 99 magic. So this is sure I get the highest value of damage as possible from the skill to kind of replicate them burning the enemies down to nothing. So for the resilience and endurance, there's a couple things at play here. For one, I kept Circle of Sadness. So this kind of replicates the whole him continuously getting dissipated and continuously getting recast in the actual fights you see in the movie. So for the endurance, I went ahead and got repel skills and 99 endurance. So for the repels, this is to cover the weaknesses as well as make sure I'm not left open to any kind of insta-kill attacks. And the 99 stat ensures that I mitigate the damage as low as possible with this build. This kind of replicates the fact that Orpheus takes quite a lot of hits and just keeps coming and getting back up. It kind of seems like some attacks just reflect off of him as well. So I figured this would be the truest way to replicate that in-game. So for the evasion, I decided to go with Angelic Grace. So Folly Dance could have been a good fit here, but I didn't see it proper because it states specifically one target enemy. So I wanted to make sure my evasion is covered across the board, even if I don't get evasion from Almighty. So Angelic Grace is going to cover that basis, and this kind of combos well with Evade Physical. So I'm making sure that all enemies have the same risk of chance of hitting me base-wise, and not just one specific enemy being used to So that's pretty much it for the build and why I made the choices that I did. So I'm about to go ahead and jump into the gameplay, but before I do, I just have a few things I'd like to say. If you like this video, I hope you'll leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe with notifications on, of course. And if you have a build you would like to see in its entirety, just comment down below. I love doing viewer choice videos. I have fun with this, even though I make jokes about being a struggle. If you would like to see me actually building these live, you can find that on my Twitch. It's going to be linked down below at twitch.tv slash hobo manifesto. I like to kind of stream this process. If so, come by if you want to ask some tips, ask why I make certain choices, or just have a full-on conversation. I'm actually going to be starting in the next couple days, or probably starting tomorrow from when this video is being uploaded, uh, actual current build requests that's been asked of me. So I'm going to actually have to build about four or five different personas for that. So come on by, have some fun. But once again, I do thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Hold on. Orpheus, go down. Persona, Just at the last second. Sona. 